refueling under cover of darkness, a massive formation of U.S. Air Force, Royal Air Force, and Australian Air Force aircraft prepared for combat. Fourth-generation fighters hailing from all three nations, including have 16 Fighting Falcons, F-15 Eagles, and Eurofighter Typhoons, coordinated with E-8 Joint SDRS Command and Control Aircraft. As their stealthy escorts, both F-22 Raptors and F-35 Joint Strike Fighters survey the battle space. Soon, cockpit displays in each aircraft began to light up and alarm sounded, indicating that the formation was being painted by multiple radar arrays tied to surface-to-air missiles and inbound fighters. Enemy fighters sporting the color schemes of Russian Su-30s began to close in. On the last week of a red flag exercise, we really throw everything we have at the Blue Force and replicate the toughest adversary possible," says Travelist Jaws Simmons, commander of the 57th Adversary Tactics Group. Ultimately, the F-35 fighter jet won the day, breaking down one of the world's most advanced air defense networks and relaying the data to missile-packed fighters like the F-16. Welcome back to Future City. Today we are going to talk all about the secret success of the F-35. So let's get right to it. The F-35 can fly at speeds as high as Mach 1.6 and can carry an internal payload of four weapons without compromising its stealth. But it's not the F-35's firepower that really makes the difference, it's the computing power. It's why F-35s have come to be known as quarterbacks in the sky, or a computer that happens to fly. There has never been an aircraft that provides as much situational awareness as the F-35. Major Justin Hazard Lee, an Air Force F-35 pilot instructor, tells Popular Mechanics, In combat, situational awareness is worth its weight in gold. But for nearly its entire life, many have debated whether the F-35 is a game-changing platform or a case study in the excesses of the Pentagon's weapon acquisition process. It turns out it's both. The aircraft we know today, as the F-35 was built to meet the demands of multiple fighting forces with a single highly capable aircraft. This new joint strike fighter, Pentagon officials believed, would allow for streamlined logistical supply lines, maintenance, and training. It would also leverage the same stealth technologies found in the F-22. With a laundry list of requirements from the US Navy, Air Force, DARE PA, and soon the UK and Canada, the Joint Strike Fighter program quickly moved from its official proposal in 1995 to two competitive prototypes in 1997, Lockheed Martin's X-35 and Boeing's X-32. And the new fighter had its work cut out for it. The Joint Strike Fighter needed to replace at least five different aircraft across all the different services, including the high-speed interceptor F-14 Tomcat and the tank-killing close air support a 10 Thunderbolt II. While replacing all these aircraft with one plane would theoretically save money, the long list of requirements led to a landslide of expensive complications. In fact, while the X-35 was still competing for the contract, many weren't sure such an aircraft could even be built in significant numbers. Lockheed Martin's F-35 specs Designed from the ground up to prioritize low observability, the F-35 may be the stealthiest fighter in operation today. It uses a single F-135 engine that produces 40,000 pounds, a thrust with the afterburner engaged, capable of pushing the sleek but husky fighter to speeds as high as Mach 1.6. The aircraft can carry four weapons internally while flying in contested airspace, or can be outfitted with six additional weapons mounted on external hardpoints when flying in low-risk environments. The F-35A also comes equipped with an internal four-barrel 25 rotary cannon hidden behind a small door to minimize radar returns. The standard weapons payload of all three F-35 variants includes two AIM-120C-D air-to-air missiles and two 1,000-pound GDU-32GDM guided bombs, allowing the F-35 to engage both airborne and ground-based targets. Lockheed Martin has developed a new internal weapons carriage that will eventually allow it to carry an additional two missiles internally. The cockpit of the F-35 foregoes the lightning of gauges and screens found in previous generations of fighter in favor of large touchscreens 
and a helmet-mounted display system that allows the pilot to see real-time information. This helmet also allows the pilot to look directly through the aircraft, thanks to the F-35's Distributed Aperture System DAS, and suite of six infrared cameras mounted strategically around the aircraft. While both the X-32 and X-35 prototypes performed well, the deciding factor in the competition may have been the F-35's complicated short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL, flight. Because the U.S. Marine Corps intended to use this new plane as a replacement for the AV-8B Harrier jump jets, America's new stealth fighter had to be able to fill the same vertical landing, short takeoff role. The lip fan design used in the X-35 connected the engine at the back of the aircraft to a drive shaft that would power a large fan installed in the aircraft's fuselage behind the pilot. When hovering, the F-35 would orient its engine downward, not unlike the X-32, but it would also pull air from above the aircraft and force it down through the fan and out the bottom, creating two balanced sources of thrust that made the aircraft far more stable. It also helped the F-35 notch a win in the looks category. You can look at the Lockheed Martin airplane and say that looks like what I would expect a modern high-performance, high-capable jet fighter to look like. Lockheed Martin engineer Rick Resbeck says, You look at the Boeing airplane and the general reaction is, I don't get it. Ultimately, Lockheed Martin won out over Boeing's unusual-looking X-32 prototype in October of 2001. The future looked bright for the newly named F-35. In May of 2018, the Israeli Defense Force became the first nation to send F-35s into combat, conducting two airstrikes with F-35 as in the Middle East. By September of the same year, the U.S. Marine Corps sent their first F-35Bs into the fight, engaging ground targets in Afghanistan, followed by the U.S. Air Force using their F-35As for airstrikes in Iraq in April 2019. Today, over 500 F-35 Lighting IIs have been delivered to nine nations and are operating out of 23 airbases around the world. That's more than Russia's fleet of fifth-generation Su-57s and China's fleet of J-20s combined. With literally thousands more on order, the F-35 promises to be the backbone of U.S. air power. And unlike previous fighter generations, the F-35's capabilities are expected to keep up with the times. Thanks to software architecture designed to allow the F-35 to receive frequent updates, the aircraft's form has stayed the same, but its function has already changed radically. The airplane that took that first flight back in 2006 may have looked identical on the outside, but it was a very different aircraft than the one we're flying today, Wilson says, and the F-35 flying 10 years from now is going to be very different from the one that we're flying today. The F-35 will also serve as a test bed for technologies that will become commonplace in the next generation of jets. Flying in coordination with AI-enabled drones will become a staple of any sixth-generation fighter, and those new fighter tricks will likely first arrive in the form of the F-35. I look at the most capable, most connected, most survivable aircraft on the face of the planet and what we're able to achieve with it today. Wilson says, I can only imagine what tomorrow's F-35 is going to be capable of. Now let's talk about the F-35 helmet. Every Gen the third is customized to its owner's head to prevent slippage during flight and to ensure that the displays appear in the correct locations. To do this, technicians scan each pilot's head, mapping every feature and translating it into the helmet's inner lining. Pilots used to have to switch over to a mounted night vision attachment when flying in the dark. The Gen the third projects a night vision reading of the surrounding environment directly onto the visor when the pilot switches the system on. The shell is made of carbon fiber, which is what gives it a characteristic checkered pattern. A tight coil of bound cables comes out of the back of the helmet to connect it to the plane, matrix style. When the wearer turns his head in a specific direction, the wires feed the helmet the proper camera footage. The communication system has active noise cancellation. Speakers produce a sound that opposes wind noise and the low-frequency hum of the jet engines so pilots can hear clearly. With this, we end our today's video. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Future City.